talents also now in pre-patch so this talent system is uh, very different right start a build that's one i picked now um so if you can't be asked of any of this like i said before just pick a start a build and go with it if you can't if you don't want to be asked to do anything about it and this menu here either click a new loadout or if you want to import something or if you want to share something. Quite a lot of people would probably import a lot of stuff when it comes to people doing like M plus raiding, stuff like that, PvP. If they find a build, they can just, you know, copy it, import it here, call it something, and then they'll literally get that build on their challenge directly. Or if you have a build that you want to share, just, just share it and it gets, gets copied. The general thing about this talent stuff is that on the left side of the talent tree, no matter what spec you are, you will always have the same look on the talents on the left side. So that's like the class talents. On the right side, that's literally the the the, the specs. Like spec specific things. That's the first part about the talent tree. The second part about this talent tree is that there are different shapes. Do you see that? Like we have squares, we have like hexagon, we have circles. So the squares are abilities that you can use. Like you click on the ability, you use that ability. The circles are passive abilities. So like if you proc something or, or it's up all the time or whatever, um, that's the circles. And then we have these hexagon ones. These hexagon ones are like sort of like a little bit special because when you mouse over, you can choose between two different abilities. And they can either be two circles, meaning like you can choose between two passive abilities or it can be two squares, so you choose between two active abilities that you have to actually click on to use. Those are different ones. So when you look around here, you can pay attention maybe to those, those hexagon ones where they are, because hexagon ones in general are quite good where you have to like choose between two. And if you don't want to like click around and do stuff like abilities and stuff like that, well, you just go for the circles, you know? Everything will just be passive for you. You can go, go circle all the way. You can literally go circle all the way here. On this, on this, uh, on this spec. But yeah, that's that's the general one. <coughs> when it comes to the, when it comes to the talents. On the middle here, you can reset everything. So either you right click to remove it, you left click to add. So either you do that when you change around how, how you want it to be, or you can click on reset everything. And if you click by mistake, you can just undo it and go back. Twenty six and twenty five points. That will change. Because we are literally level 60 now and the expansion is 70. So you're going to have, uh, let's see here, 30, 31, something like that. I forgot. I think it's five more in each. Because each, like when you level later, like you're now 60, when you get 61, you will be able to choose maybe the left, the right side here for your spec. When you're 62, then you can only choose on the left side instead for the class. And then it pings ping pong between those two every time you level up. All right, the last part is what I, what I told you about before. You can literally search for abilities. If I search barb shot here, it will highlight all the barb shot abilities. So if I want like, if I see like, oh yeah, that sounds cool. And I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna only focus on that now to make sure that I'm getting points on all the barb shots here. But yeah, that's, that's, that's the cool part about this one that you can literally like get highlighted of what you are after. If a special ability and you wanna like be built around that ability, then you can just search for it. And the last part about the talent tree is that it's divided in three sections. Section one on both of these, you see here it says eight points here. So I need to spend, even though I don't want to, I have to spend eight points for the ones that are grade to be available for me. So let's say that I pick, for example, Bob Shot here. And we're like, oh, that's cool. I'm gonna take maybe multi shot as well. And um, these two. And I'll be like, okay, now I, I wanna continue down. I can't. I have to pick one more point, let's say this one, and now I've unlocked the next row. And also, to be able to go to the next next ability, I have to pick both points. I can't put one point, because then, then it's not available for me. So I pick po both points, and then I can come down. So now you can see that when I did that, the next part now is that I need to spend 12 more points to unlock the next one here. And they have done that, so you can't like, you know, pick very little here and then further down you're gonna pick like uh, really good ones because normally they divide in sections further down with several like here's like three good ones in the end and here also several ones in the end 
they don't want to be able to pick all of them. So you have to pick a build and then maybe go down to two of them. In general, I have seen that classes I played at least, I've seen that you can go down to two in the end. Like you can pick, you can pick two, two, two end ones, end abilities. You don't have to, of course, but you can. So you can't pick more than that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how the, the talent stuff works, guys.